draw the projections of a pentagonal prism base 25 mm side and axis 50 mm long resting on one of its rectangular faces on the HP with the axis inclined at 45 degree to the VP. Now this pentagonal prism we know that in prism there are two bases these two bases these two bases are pentagon, uh, pentagon pen, in the shape of pentagon because this is a pentagonal prism. Now side of this pentagon is 25 mm this side all these sides are pen, uh, 25 mm and axis is 50 mm that means length of this prism is given this is 50 mm. Now here uh, uh, one of its uh, this uh, prism is resting on one of its rectangular faces we know that all these faces are rectangular in shape and one of these rectangular shape it is kept on one uh, on HP this rectangular face is kept on HP uh, with axis inclined at 45 degree to the VP now in this type of problem when axis is inclined to one of the reference planes you should in initial stage you should keep that axis perpendicular to the given plane here axis is inclined at 45 degree to the VP therefore you should keep axis perpendicular to the VP when you keep axis perpendicular to VP then you will get a true shape of the uh, base in front view therefore you should draw front view first in the initial stage that means uh, first draw XY line and then draw front view uh, which you will get this pentagon pentagonal shape in which this side should overlap with XY line because it is kept in HP so this face this is one face this entire face AE51 this face is kept on HP therefore this face this face is uh, shown here as a line so this face is on HP and accordingly you can draw this pentagon 180 degree 180 degree and this side 25 then you can take center and then cut arc here and from this center cut arc here and join all these points in that way you can draw pentagon now mark all these points you can mark all this A B C D E this A B C D E front now similarly there, there is another face which is uh, invisible so mark all those points also so I have marked all this 1 2 3 4 5 this 1 2 3 4 5 these are visible points now from these all these points draw vertical projectors you have drawn all these vertical projectors now you can take any distance from XY line and draw a line parallel to XY line uh, to draw uh, to show this face that is 1 2 3 4 5 this face you can see uh, so draw one line which is parallel to XY line now this line is showing this particular face and uh, corresponding points you can uh, see that this this point is 2 so this will be your corresponding 2 this will be 1 and this will be this 3 this will be 5 and this point will be 4 so uh, similarly now you uh, measure distance of 50 mm now this length is 50 mm and close this side and uh, mark all these points so you can mark all these points these points are corresponding points from A you, you are getting A from B you are getting B and so on now out of this these sites these edges from B to 2 C to 3 and D to 4 that is B to 2 C to 3 and D to 4 these edges are when you look from top these edges are visible so uh, mark those lines as thick lines so these are thick lines and uh, these two edges are not visible A to 1 and uh, E to 5 this A to 1 and E to 5 these two are not visible and therefore I have drawn these lines as dashed lines now in next step you should uh, you need to incline the axis 45 degree to the VP so in place of incline inclining VP uh, inclining axis uh, 45 degree I uh, axis is parallel to all these sides since axis is parallel to all these sides so you can uh, you can incline any of this side so uh, let us incline this um, 4 to D this side you incline this so first draw a line which is 45 degree and in this line mark any point somewhere here mark this point 4 mark this point 4 and then uh, redraw the same figure as it is you have to draw this figure after completing this you can get front view as uh, by and draw a projector line from 2 vertical projector from 2 so you have drawn vertical projector from 2 similarly draw a horizontal projector from 2 you will be getting this point 2 dash so you will get this point 2 dash and similarly draw a vertical projector from 1 or a horizontal projector from 1 already available so this xy line so draw vertical projector so vertical projector I have drawn so this point will be your 1 dash and similarly you will get other points so this is 3 where is 3 this is 3 horizontal projector draw this horizontal projector and you will get this point as 3 similarly 5 where is 5 this is 5 and this is 5 so you will get 5 here this point is 5 5 dash similarly this point is 4 and here this point and this line is 4 so draw this 
points so you will be getting four dice in this way you can get all these points a b c d e uh, e all these points also you can get draw these vertical projectors and get all these points once you get all these points the first step is uh, to draw all the outer sides whatever outer points you are getting join all those outer points those will be always visible lines so remember this first step in drawing in this type of projection you should draw all outer points join all the uh, outer points and those lines will be always visible and so you should draw thick lines so i have drawn this outer line c to c c to d d to e and e to 1 2 3 3 these are all outer lines now next step is you should uh, check uh, whether in for inside points you should check out of these inside points there are two inside points 4 and b so you should check uh, any of these are visible or not so actually uh, you are drawing this front view uh, by looking from this side you, now when you look from this side you can see that b is visible so if any point is visible then all the li lines joining that point will be visible so this point is visible so from all the lines which is passing through b should be visible now you can check from b you can see that from b there are three lines one is bc one is ba and one is b2 this lines you can see here also b to c b to a and then b to 2 this b and 2 b to 2 b to 2 this line so these three lines are there so all these three lines will be thick lines so b to c b to a and b to 2 these three lines will be thick lines draw these thick lines so i have drawn these three lines as thick now when you look from this side from when you look from this side this 4 will be invisible so this point 4 is here so this point is invisible so all the lines joining this 4 will be invisible so you have to join all those lines by dash lines so what are the lines joining with 4 uh, you can see from 4 4 to 3 4 to 5 and 4 to d here also you can see this 4 to 4 to 3 4 to 5 and then 4 to d this is 4 to d this three lines so from b or oh sorry from 4 you have to draw 4 to 3 Four to five, and then four to D. These three lines should be dash lines. So draw these dash lines. So you have drawn these dash lines. Now this uh, front view and top view of uh, required uh, pentagonal prism is completed. Now you should uh, mark all the dimensions. You can mark these dimensions, this angle, uh, this side, and this length. And this way you can complete this uh, projection of pentagonal prism. Uh, 